Hey what's up guys, Ramsey with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video for you guys today. In today's video I got an awesome new Red Dead Redemption 2 easter egg in this video. So we are here at the location in Rhodes where we first encounter Gavin's friend Nigel. This is the exact location where I am right now. And yeah, he's just walking around asking for Gavin. Gavin! So in his first encounter we will find him walking around roads, but he's just going the same way every single time. He's just walking his rounds. So I'm gonna show you guys how he actually walks. So he goes here to the right and then between those buildings. Sometimes he takes a left, sometimes he takes a right, but he always ends up at the same point and he's just going around he's just going around and around and around so that is pretty interesting because this is where we find a huge easter egg months after we first stumbled on the mystery of where is gavin so i even in this video that i made months ago i checked out this house right here but in today's video we have a huge easter egg inside this house so i'm gonna show you guys it right now so this is the location of it in roads there's a huge uh, building right here that i investigate in that clip and at the back there are some stairs you can go up the stairs and there's this little room right here there's this room where we can actually see through the window and like nothing really special is going on but we have a wall glitch we have a glitch where we can glitch into uh yeah rooms windows buildings and that's what we're gonna do in this video because we will find something in this window which will blow your mind now i'm gonna show you guys the glitch how to do it so what you have to do is pick a lantern and a revolver pistol and then just aim to the ground and then switch over to first person once you hit a wall or a door and then you're able to glitch inside now look at this right here in this room there is a painting of Nigel, Gavin's friend, but naked. Look at him. He's just chilling on the grass right here. He has the same hat, the same mustache. And this is literally the building he walks past every single time. Now, are we actually supposed to find this? Because are we even able to find this without doing the glitch? Well, I'm gonna show you guys that later, but it is very hard to see. So, this is pretty interesting. Did the game developers did this on purpose? Is this a joke? Look at this, we are in the uh, room right now. And the only way to see this painting is from the balcony, which you are not able to go to. So, none of these doors works. Actually, those doors are too little to go through. And... Yeah, this is just super interesting because look at this, this painting right here. The only way to see this is from the balcony through the window. And is that even possible? We are going to check that out later in this video. But first, I want to talk about this painting because, of course, the same hat, the same mustache, he's naked. And also, if you look at the background, we can still see, I think it's the same building. I think it is the same building right here. So this is super strange, this is a super strange painting right here. Unfortunately we aren't able to interact with the painting and also we aren't able to loot this desk even though it glows. That's pretty weird if you ask me. Now there's another weird thing because there's another painting or I should say frame and it's just missing. So what we're gonna do right now is are we able to see through the window and see this painting maybe that's the way the de developers want us to find this painting so that's what we're gonna do right now so what i did is i got a cart and what i'm gonna do is climb on to it on the balcony so let's do that right now and then let's see if we can see through the window now this is interesting because we are actually able to see through the window but I don't know if you guys notice it's kind of hard to see we are able to see the painting but it's as you guys can see not even placed the same but it's hanging on the wall right now which is kind of strange I don't know if this is just a trick or something 
like a, a game trick development trick or something we are now able to see this painting more easier than uh, it was just kind of floating when we did the glitch right so i don't know this is super strange a uh, naked Gavin's friend Nigel right here on the painting is this his house or his room well with his first encounter he is just walking by him walking past this area so maybe he just woke up and like I said he woke up someday and uh, Gavin was gone and maybe this is his room maybe this is his house who knows but yeah this is super interesting now another part of this mystery is that this all this Gavin's friend mystery could be all a reference to actually a TV show named Allo Allo and I'm gonna show you guys something which gave me goosebumps when I saw it the first time because this is I don't know maybe it's coincidence but Nigel and Gavin are heard in the same sentence and he's also joking around as the description say so I'm gonna play this clip right now from this TV show Allo Allo and in this TV show they are actually hiding underneath a bar from uh, the Germans in the World War II. I believe that was in France or something, but Nigel and Gavin, they are hiding underneath a bar. And in the same, th th like this is in the same sentence, Gavin and Nigel, they are on the phone with a mom. I don't know. I'm just going to play it for you guys right now. It's super strange. And I want to uh, know what you guys think about this clip right here. So here it is. Hello, mummy. It's Gavin. <laughs> Good Lord. Are you in a phone box at the station? No. Nigel. Nigel, it's Gavin. He's across with Bumbley doing some decorating. How are you getting on? Oh, it's absolute hell. So let me know what you guys think. Could Gavin maybe hiding? Like this TV show right here, underneath one of the bars in Red Dead Redemption 2. That could be possible because we had some like backdoors and Strange and Freaks missions in uh, defense, in the store, in like bars and everything. Even in the gun shops, there are some uh, hidden doors. If you guys didn't know that, I would recommend you guys check out the other videos because we find people that kidnap and some other like some some crazy stuff so yes could this be that gavin is maybe hiding underneath one of the bars in red Dead redemption 2 and we still haven't found him yet that is pretty interesting now another interesting thing is when i made my first video about gavin when i did my research on this video a couple months ago when i made it i found out that there was no voice actor credited for Gavin's friend, but right now they changed it. Joseph is the voice actor of Gavin's friend, but strangely enough, there is no credit for Gavin because nobody is given credit for the voice actor of Gavin. So, does Gavin actually has a dialogue? Did somebody actually did voice acting for Gavin? That's the big question. But here's the thing. Rockstar Games is smart. This is not the first time they did something like this. Because remember, in Grand Theft Auto V, before we found the Bigfoot, nobody was credited for Bigfoot. And here's another strange thing. When the Beast Easter Egg was found, then someone was credited as the Beast voice actor. So they actually gave two persons for Bigfoot the credit. They changed the page. Uh, like they updated the page later when we actually found out about the easter egg so that is really something that rockstar games does and did in the past so considering that i think there's something going on right here and i want to show you guys the clip of when we found bigfoot because yeah i've been a long time here on youtube and when we found bigfoot and versus the beast in Grand Theft Auto 5. This is what they did with crediting voice actors on the same page but on Grand Theft Auto 5. Found the PRD plant, it was credited that someone played or uh, voice acted Bigfoot, but that later got changed to this guy right here 
that on a different play, uh, page actually still says that he is voice acting Bigfoot. So we have two actors actually doing Bigfoot, which doesn't make sense at this point. Now here comes the mind-boggling part. After we found the peyote plant, the golden peyote plant to play as Bigfoot, they got rid of the credits. It's no ever, it's not to be found here on this page anymore. You can scroll all the way down, but there is no credits who ever played Bigfoot. So first we had two actors who played Bigfoot and now none. So that's crazy and maybe they want to get rid of some proof that there's actually another Bigfoot to be found or something like we have two actors playing as Bigfoot only we have found one Bigfoot so I don't know about this considering that this mystery still is going on like now that we found the painting right here at his house this is probably his room I think this is his house or his room like this is so crazy and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if i blew your mind with this video please consider subscribing for more red dead redemption 2 videos my name is rams and i want to thank you guys for watching bye bye